Hello there, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to Dan Zeke Fitness. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm Desiree, and today we are going to focus on the back of the body with an emphasis on our backs and booties. This 30 minute workout has four sections. Section one, prone section, where we will be laying on our stomachs. Section two, we'll do a tabletop series. Section three, shoulder bridge. And finally, section four, we'll go for some reversed forearm tabletop exercises. All you need is a mat, no equipment, and you don't even have to be warmed up. We're going to warm up together. Here we go, my friends. Let's begin in our beautiful tabletop position. Take a nice big inhale, and as you exhale, round the back, drop the head down, and sit back onto your heels or as far as you can go comfortably. Inhale to come back to your tabletop, and again we exhale to shift our weight back, rounding the back and dropping the head down. Again, inhale back to your tabletop. Exhale, shift back, round the back, dropping the head. And again, shift forward, inhale, tabletop. And exhale, shift back and round your spine, good. Let's return back to our tabletop, neutral spine. And from here, we're going to take a nice side bend. Bending to the right, trying to touch your shoulder to your right hip. Come back to center and then we exhale to bend to the left. Good, inhale back to center, and again, bending to the right. Inhale, center, and last time, exhale, bending left. Beautiful, and inhale back to center. Let's tuck our toes under and shift back into our downward facing dog. Really allow your chest to drop down towards the floor. Press the heels down into the mat, feel a nice stretch in the backs of the legs and the chest and the shoulders. And gently lower the knees back down towards the mat, tabletop, and let's circle the body around. We're gonna go twice to the right, and then we reverse and go twice to the left, passing through your cat, cow, and your side bends. Mm -mm -mm. Doesn't this feel delicious? Good job, everybody. Return back to your neutral spine. From here, let's adjust and prop ourselves up into our high plank pose. Then I want you to lower down to your forearm plank. Breathe deep and gently lower your body down to the floor. Open your legs about the width of your yoga mat or a little bit wider than hip width. You can prop yourself up on your forearms or if you're feeling good, press your palms into the floor and just really push the floor away. We're really focusing on just lengthening out the abdominals here. And if you want, you can add in some head movement, maybe circle the head around. Go both ways, really let it go, shoulders down, deep breaths. Good, and just gently lower your body down to the floor. Give your hips a nice little rock side to side just to release any tension in your lower back. And let's begin our prone series. Keep your legs open about the width of your mat, hand on top of hand, and just rest your forehead on top of your hands. Pubic bone down, squeeze the glutes, pull the belly button in and up, and you're going to inhale as you float your right leg up. And exhale to lower the right leg down. Good, now we go left leg, inhale to lift up. And exhale, lower down. Good, keep your core engagement, that's really important. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale down, and again left and lower down, good. Four more, everyone. Keep pulling your navel to your spine, really engaging in the hamstrings and the glutes. Find your longest length in your legs. And here's our last two, right leg up and down 
and left leg up beautiful and lower down all right let's switch gears and now let's focus on our upper body from here inhale to lift up into your back extension and exhale to lower down inhale lift up and exhale lower down good keep going six more keep your legs glued to the floor for this one so we're only moving our upper body good we have four more keep going my friends staying in control of the movement energy always shooting out of the crown of the head we're almost there good and one more make it good let's hold this final back extension and then sweep your arms behind you which may allow you to lift up even higher breathe deep and float your right leg up and lower the leg down and then we float the left leg up and lower down good keep alternating legs really focus on the energy of the leg we're not only lifting the leg up but I want you to think of lifting the leg out almost like someone's pulling your leg so it's an up and out energy always striving for that length good keep going everyone we're almost there belly button in and up good and that was our last one very very nice let's place hand on top of hand forehead on your hands and gently lower your upper body down to the floor breathe deep rock your hips side to side and let's go for another one all right my friends let's prop ourselves up on our forearms and we bend the knees big toes are together and let's go for a beautiful mermaid tail variation one of my favorites all right working that booty we are going to squeeze and lift up lengthen the right bring the toes together and lower down lift up and now we lengthen the left join the toes together and lower the thighs down beautiful keep going squeeze and lift lengthen the right bend it in and lower down and up lengthen the left bring it in very nice and again up longest leg you can make good and down and again squeeze it up really working those glutes and hamstrings very nice my friends we're almost there one more rep on each side good and here's our last one squeeze up stretch the left bend it in and lower down Woohoo! all right lengthen your legs long rock your hips again side to side stick with me we're almost done with this prone section let's return to that same starting pose big toes together knees apart and belly button pulling in and up here we go friends lift up this time we lengthen both legs behind us sweep your arms behind you lifting up in your beautiful back extension sweep the arms forward joining the wrists together sweep the arms back and then we gently lower the forearms to the mat bend the knees first and then we lower the thighs down last good let's do it again just breathing naturally for this one squeeze and lift the toes to the sky lengthen your legs back reach your arms back all the limbs lengthening behind you wrists together sweep your arms back let's do that again wrists together and sweep your arms back beautiful forearms go down we bend the knees toes together and lower the thighs down last all right friends one more time they say third time's a charm let's make this the best one yet lift up 
Lengthen behind. Reach back. And wrist together. Sweep the arms back. Again, wrist together. Sweep the arms back. Good. We're going to do two more. And wrist together. Sweep the arms back. One more. And wrist together. And sweep it back. Beautiful job, friends. Lower your forearms. Join the toes. Thighs go down. And you did it. Beautiful work. Super challenging, but really great for working the entire back of the body. Shift your weight back into your child's pose. Take some nice, deep cleansing breaths here. And I have one more prone exercise for you. So stick with me. Let's make our way down to our bellies once again. And this time, everyone, we're going to squeeze the legs together. Let's have our face just hovering the mat. Sweep your arms by your sides, flip your palms to face in, and I want you to lift everything up, and we're gonna go for a little swim, fluttering the legs. Kick, 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 kick. And lower the body down, hand on top of hand on your lower back, bend the knees one, two. Lower and lengthen, and again, bend one, two and stretch and lengthen. Let's do it again. Reach the arms back, lifting up, swim. Good, really opening up the chest here, always pulling your navel to your spine. Lower down, hand on top of hand, and we bend the knees, one, two, into your hamstring curl. And again, bend, bend. Good, really working those hamstrings. Let's go again, lift up and flutter the legs. Breathing naturally, lower everything down, and again, kick your heels to your bottom, one, two, and stretch, and bend, bend, and stretch, good, here's our last one, keep it going, flutter the legs, lower with control, and again, one, two, and stretch, one, two, and stretch yes great job everyone let's shift it back into our child's pose once again breathe deep arms nice and long in front really drop your head down nice and heavy shake out your shoulders shake out your head if you need to no tension Good, and from here, just come to your tabletop position. And then let's extend to our high plank pose. Legs nice and long, palms under the shoulders. Breathe nice and deep here. And then step your feet open nice and wide, wider than your mat. And just walk your hands back towards your feet. Let's take a moment to cross the arms and just let your upper body hang down. This should feel really, really nice. You can start swinging the body side to side, just like a pendulum, and let gravity do its thing. This is a really nice release for our backs, creating more space in between each vertebra. Good. Keep swaying nice and gently. And let's add in our twist. Left palm down. Twist, reach up to the sky with your right arm. Come back to center. And we'll twist the other way. Very nice. Come back to center. Take a nice deep breath. Let your upper body and head just kind of hang down. Good. And from here, everyone, walk your hands out back to your high plank. Step the feet back in so they're about hip width apart. Bend the knees, lower your knees down. Untuck those toes. 
Walk your hands back so we're back in our beautiful tabletop position. And here we go with section two. Lengthen your right leg behind you, turn it out. We are going to lift the leg up to our ballet arabesque and just pulse the leg up, squeezing the glute at the top of the lift. Good. Keep pulsing. Nice long leg. Nothing else moves. Core engaged. Good. And let's take a little pause here. Gently lower your right leg down. Bring that knee in. And now let's lower to our forearms. From here, let's lift that right leg up, keeping it bent at the 90 degree angle, pulsing up, toes go to the sky. So now we're in the parallel line. You're really going to feel this in the hamstrings as well as in the glutes. Good, keep pulsing everyone. And take a little pause, lower your right leg down. Good. From here, stay on your left forearm and stretch your right arm out to the side, right palm on the floor. Right leg behind, turn it out, lift up to your beautiful arabesque once again. And now we're gently going to lower the right leg to the right. Tap the side of your big toe on the floor, lift the leg back up to your arabesque and lower down. And repeat. Good, really focusing on the length of the leg. And when you lower your leg down to the side, don't make any noise, meaning don't just let your foot slam down into the ground. Really place your foot gently on the floor. Stay in control. Good, really nice everyone. Bring that right knee down. And let's come to our palms again. Open the legs so they're about hip width apart. And we do the same thing on the second side. Lengthen your left leg behind you, turn it out. Lift it up, beautiful arabesque, and start pulsing your leg up. Squeezing the buns at the top of the lift and really focusing on elongating that left leg as long as you can make it. Keep pulsing everyone. Navel to your spine, keep your gaze at the mat. Take a pause and gently lower that left leg down, good. Now we adjust to our forearms, keeping the left leg in the parallel line and bent at your 90 degree angle. Lift the leg up, toes reaching for the sky. And now we pulse the leg up here in this position. Make sure you're breathing, never holding the breath, just allowing your body to breathe naturally. Keep pulsing. Good, very nice everyone. Lower that left leg down and keep your right forearm on the floor. Extend your left arm, left palm on the floor. Left leg behind, turn it out. Arabesque, lift it up. Gently lower the left leg down to the side. Lifting it back up and lower down with control. This is all about control, my friends. Good. And of course, we don't want to add in any extra movement. So even though we're really focusing on the glutes, this exercise really does require a lot of core engagement. Good, keep going everybody. Very nice my friends. And lower that left knee down. Good work. All right, take a little break. Shift back into your child's pose once again. Take some deep breaths here. OK, 
Okay, my friends, let's roll up through the spine and let's get ready for section three. This is our shoulder bridge section. So let's swing the legs around and we're going to get down on our backs. Lengthen your legs nice and long, lengthen your arms nice and long. And we'll take a big inhale to scoop the belly, exhale to tuck the tail, and just roll all the way down to the mat. Arms are by your sides. And let's take a moment just to come into our home base position. Hug your knees, breathe deep, rock the knees side to side, massaging out your lower back. Good. And let's just place the feet flat on the floor, hip width apart, arms by your sides. Tuck your tailbone under to imprint your spine. And then we're going to engage in those glutes so we can pick our pelvis off the mat, lifting up into your beautiful shoulder bridge. Take your hands on your hips and just feel that your hips are nice and level, super important. Then lift your elbows off the mat, but we're gonna keep the hands on the hips. I want you to take your pelvis down towards the floor, but not completely, just kind of hover the floor, squeeze and lift back up, reach your arms up, and then return your hands back to your hips. And we go again. Hips go down, hips come up, reach the arms up to the sky, and hands back to the hips, good. We're gonna keep going with this for a while. Keep it going, keep a nice steady pace. If you have to slow it down a little bit, that's a-okay. Most important thing, everyone, is that we're working equally on both sides. So every time you put your hands on your hips, really feel that your hips are nice and lifted and level. Good, keep going, keep breathing. Keep squeezing those glutes. And let's take a little pause. Up in your shoulder bridge, arms are up, just pulse your hips up. Teeny tiny pulses. Squeezing those glutes. Good, keep pulsing. And let's take a break, keep your hips up high. And now let's just move the arms. We're just gonna slice the arms. Kind of like our scissors that we do with our legs. We're slicing the arms in opposition. Good, nothing else moves. Hips stay lifted, hips stay level. And let's go back to our hip pulses. And if you're feeling fancy, see if you can pulse the hips and slice the arms at the same time. Good, keep going. It's taking me about four pulses to slice the arms once, but keep going. Find your own rhythm that works for you. Good job, my friends. Let's take a pause. Lower your arms back down to the mat and gently roll down sequentially through the spine. Woo, all right. Let's stretch out those hamstrings, lengthen your legs up. We're just gonna fold the body in half. If you can grab onto your toes, that's awesome. If you can't, it's okay. Just place your hands on your calves or thighs. And let's take a moment to open to our beautiful straddle split. Lower your head down, take some nice deep breaths. Feel that nice inner thigh stretch. Good, and let's join the legs together. And we'll bend the knees. And let's go for our second variation. All right, feet flat on the floor, legs hip width apart, arms by your sides. Again, tuck your tail under, imprint your spine, squeeze your glutes, and lift the pelvis up into your shoulder bridge. You can keep your arms down, or if you're feeling really strong today, challenge yourself, and you can reach your fingertips up to the sky. All right, friends, we're gonna alternate lifting feet off the floor. Right knee comes up, 
keeping your leg bent at that 90 degree angle lower your right foot down and then left leg comes up and lower the left foot down good keep going we're just going to keep alternating sides beautiful work everyone and again the goal is to keep the hips lifted and level this is really really challenging so if you are finding your hips are kind of dipping down on one side be sure to place your arms on the floor for support okay keep going very nice and let's see if this round we can stretch the leg up stretch your right leg all the way up and down left leg all the way up and down six more times again if it's too much and you can't stretch your leg all the way that's all right just strive to stretch your leg as long as possible right we all have different flexibility levels it's just all about working within your range okay do the best you can longest legs remember practice makes progress so keep at it all right friends that was our last repetition pause in your shoulder bridge and just roll down through the spine and let's curl up into our cute little ball here lengthen your legs once again so we can fold the body in half grabbing onto your toes calves or thighs breathe deep feel a nice stretch in the backs of the legs and again we'll open to our center or straddle split lower your head down breathe deep allow your hips to open up enjoy this stretch let's close the legs together good and bend the knees rock your knees side to side massaging out that lower back and just place your hands behind your thighs give yourself a rock back so you can pull yourself up stick with me don't give up we're almost there here's section number four our reverse tabletop section so we're going to be on our forearms for this one and when you're ready squeeze those buns so you can pick your pelvis off the floor just like we did in our shoulder bridge hips high hips level and let's alternate once again lifting our legs up we're going to keep the knees bent at that 90 degree angle good keep going my friends and i would keep your gaze at your hips making sure that they're not doing anything funky staying lifted and level the whole time good keep going friends and let's switch to our heel taps alternating legs tapping the heel out and bending the knee back in keep going keep breathing good almost there stick with me and take a pause and gently lower your pelvis back down good all right let's take a little break sit up tall just swing out those arms all right reach your arms roll it back let's get back onto our forearms here we go round two when you're ready lift up hips high hips level we're gonna go back to those heel taps really lengthening out the leg nice and long gently tapping the heel down again stay in control don't make a lot of noise don't jam your heel into the floor good keep going keep breathing keep smiling all right let's see if we can add in a little jump now so we're picking up the pace little jump to change legs if you don't feel like jumping today you can obviously take out the jump and just go for your regular heel taps like we were doing before 
good. Hips high, hips level. Squeeze those buns. Press the floor away. You're going to feel this in your arms and your backs, glutes, hamstrings, whole back of the body. Good. Almost there. And you did it. Woohoo! And lower your pelvis back down to the mat. Beautiful job, everybody. Sit up tall. Open your legs about the width of your mat. They're a little bit wider than hip width. Fingertips long in front. And just slide and reach forward. Flex your feet up to really increase this stretch. Shake out your shoulders. Shake out your head. And let's walk the hands to the right foot. If you don't have the flexibility to reach your foot, that's okay. Just place your hands on your shins and stay low and walk your way to your left foot or left shin. Breathe deep. Good, and walk your hands back to center. Arms nice and long, really elongating your spine. And take your time rolling it up. Bone by bone by bone. Good. Let's circle the head around. Circle the feet around. Just let it go. No tension in the body. Very nice. All right. You are done. Thank you so much for joining me today. Sending you lots of love and hugs and kisses and light and all that good stuff. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up so I know you completed it. Comment down below. Let me know how you did. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And please share this video and my channel with your friends and family. Take care of you and I'll see you soon. Bye everyone.